Welcome to the video tutorial on regular expressions in Linux. So what are regular expressions? Well, they are special characters, no not these, yes, which help search data and match complex patterns. Regular expressions are shortened as regexp or regx. Some of the commonly used commands with regular expressions are tr, sed, vi and grep. These are some of the basic regex. Let us learn their practical use. Let's consider this sample file. Now we will use the grep command to look for lines containing the letter A. Let's use the regular expression now. Using the caret symbol, we will search for the content that starts with the character A. The caret matches the start of a string. This is why only lines that start with the character A are filtered. Lines which do not contain the character A at the start are ignored. Let us look into another example. Here we will look for the character T in the same file sample. Now let us select only those lines which end with the character T. For this we will need to use this regular expression which matches the end of the string. This is how we can use regular expressions. Moving on to the interval regular expressions, they tell us about the number of occurrences of a character in a string. They are so if we use the first expression, it will match the preceding character appearing n times exactly. Let us try it on terminal. Let us filter out all the lines that contain the character P. Now if we want to check the character P appearing exactly two times in a string one after the other, for this the syntax would be which will give us this result. It should be noted here that you need to add hyphen capital E with these regular expressions. The next is the extended regular expressions. These contain combinations of more than one expressions. Some of them are so if we use the backward slash with the plus sign it will match one or more occurrence of the previous character. Let us learn their practical use. Here we have searched for the character T. Suppose we want to filter out lines where character A precedes character T, we would have to use the command like this. Running this command would give us this result. This is how we can use the extended regular expressions. The syntax for base expansion is either a sequence or a comma separated list of items inside curly braces. The starting and end of items in a sequence are separated by two periods. Let us go through some of the examples. Here we would use the echo command to create strings using the brace expansion. Another example of the same would be this would create a string from A till Z. One more example would be this. An advanced example of the brace expansion is this. This is how we can create strings using the brace expansion. To recap what we have learned, regular expressions are a set of characters used to check patterns in strings. They are also called regexp and regex. It is important to learn regular expressions for writing scripts. Some basic regular expressions are the period symbol replaces any character, the caret matches the start of a string, the dollar sign matches the end of a string. Some extended regular expressions are here the backslash used with the plus sign matches one or more occurrence of the previous character. The backslash used with a question mark matches zero or one occurrence of the previous character. Some interval regular expressions are here the n in the curly braces matches the preceding character appearing n times exactly. In the second expression the n and m under curly braces match preceding character appearing n times but not more than m. And the last regular expression displayed here matches the preceding character 
only when it appears n times or more. The brace expansion is used to generate strings. It helps in creating multiple strings out of one. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one.